Hi everyone, and welcome to another Greeny Flix Adventure 8 video, and it's Peter Zellums, and I'm talking today about the Leica Monochrome, M10 Monochrome, shooting with the Leica Noctilux 15mm f0.95. This is a really interesting combination and uh, needless to say, like all equipment, you've got to get used to using it and understanding the pros and cons of doing so as well. I've recently taken a few photo shoots, gone out uh, at night time, shooting wide open, 0 0.95, and I guess night time's a great time to do that and seeing what sort of images I can get, which I'll share with you today. Some initial learning experiences. Shooting a monochrome digital sensor means that uh, you're not shooting color and converting to black and white afterwards. You're actually committed to the black and white straight away, and it is effectively like shooting black and white film. So if you want to adjust grayscales when you're actually taking the photographs, you have to use filters, color filters. At night time, um, I'm not using any filters at all. Uh, I might have a UV filter on the lens just to protect from the rain and things like that. But other than that, it's uh, shooting wide open and using the rangefinder, of course, being an M type camera system. Uh, it means that your only focus is going to be manual focus using the rangefinder or you're using range guessing. Uh, depending on your f-stop, but if you're shooting 0 .09, 0 0.95, it means that uh, you might as well use the rangefinder and get your focus as accurate as possible. A couple of pleasant surprises. Um, it's amazing how dark the situation can be with, for you still to be able to focus. Because it doesn't matter what f-stop you're using here on the lens, because everything is with the rangefinder. You're obviously using the two little eyelets there, one there and there, and then superimposing the images so that you line up, get the focus right, and then take the shot. So the event I was at yesterday was at a restaurant, and needless to say that things were happening quickly, so you had to anticipate the shot, work out where it's going to happen, get into position, um, so that when the action occurs, you can quickly either adjust your focus slightly and snap off a couple of shots. So I'll show these photographs to you now. Are you using a really fast lens, you know, 0 0.95 or something similar? How are you How are you doing the focus? You know, whether it's a Leica or whether it's another camera with autofocus. Uh, mind you, I suspect any lens that is 0.95 is probably not autofocus, I think. Stand to be corrected if you know of any lenses that are that fast and autofocus, it'd be interesting to find out. You can get autofocus adapters, which I've got a Nikon Z camera body, and I've got a Megadap autofocus adapter, and I have you adapted this lens to that, and it does do autofocus using the Megadap. However, you know, there are some pros and cons of that as well. In situations where you want to be really quiet, then make it make some noise. As far as minimum noise levels, uh, the monochrome and this lens combination is really, really quiet. You could hardly ever hear it actually taking a shot. Um, for example, if I just take a shot now. You hear that? I'll come up a bit closer. There's not much noise that comes out of that, and that's with the shutter operating. So it's really quiet. Anyway, let's have these photographs. I will include shutter speed. The f-stop is always 0 0.95. So it's the shutter speed and the ISO rating that will vary in the different shots.
it for today. So a pretty short video. I welcome any comments that you might have. Thanks very much for watching. If it's the first time for my channel, if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Press the notifications. And if you like the video, please give it a thumb up. It really is very welcome your support to the channel. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Yeah.